Hey guys, welcome back to Not Catch Your Name. It's me, Ella, and today we're talking about February's Knit Crate. Hey guys, welcome back. I finally got a Knit Crate. <laughs> I've had some million issues ever since December last year. Uh, December and January, I didn't get a Knit Crate at all, and I've been in contact with uh, the guy who runs it, and I finally got one, so I guess they figured out whatever was going wrong. Apparently, I know they shipped, they uh, switched to shipping with FedEx instead of the United States Postal Service, so that somehow messed up sending to P.O. boxes because FedEx can't ship to P.O. boxes, so I'm guessing they went back or something. I don't know. They haven't told me. All I know is that it did come to my P.O. box and I actually got tracking and um, notifications for it this time, unlike the last two months. But anyways, I finally got it, so I'm happy about that. And the box is a little different. It's glossy. It's usually not glossy. The last few ones I got um, before they messed up, they were matte, I guess, and not shiny and pretty. But yeah, so I may actually keep this box to set back somewhere just to be like a, a sign of Knit Crate. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, so let's get into it. I didn't know anything about February's Knit Crate because I haven't been getting boxes. I haven't really been paying attention to the Knit Crates. I was lucky enough to get two December's, one of December's and one of January's, you know, both of them, two of them, uh, sent to me from someone who watches me and they know who they are. So thank you for that. And I haven't forgotten it. <laughs> but, um, I did finally get my own, so I did get one today, and I opened it up already because I have no patience, and I'm going to show it to you guys. I think there were two colorways this month. There was a blue and a green, and I got the green. It's a very pretty. It's um, tonal, I guess you would say. It looks like it's kind of two different shades of green. Very pretty yarn. Let's read the tag. Normally I do a really cute shot, but it's rainy and gloomy today, so I don't have anywhere bright and pretty to do it at. <laughs> so I did get two hanks of the Aldine Wools by Knit Crate. And on the back here, it says Aldine Wools Halo DK. The colorway, I can't remember how to pronounce it. I've looked it up and I done forgot. But I think it's Malachite. <laughs> it is 50% alpaca, 30% merino wool, and 20% nylon. It is a DK weight, 236 yards per hank which is 215 meters or 100 grams. Suggested needle size is a US three to five. Hand wash only, blah, blah, blah. All the same stuff that all the yarn is. But yeah, so it is a wool, nylon, alpaca blend. So this is pretty neat. It does kind of have a slight rustic feel to it. Um, I imagine it would be softer with washing, but obviously if you're sensitive to wool or alpaca, <laughs> it wouldn't be the greatest choice for you. But it is pretty soft with all that being said. I like it a lot. Uh, I love the color of it. It's actually a really pretty color. I think the blue would have been just as pretty. Let's look at the um, book. <laughs> they started these books uh, late last year. And I think it's neat because they were just doing like little papers and then it upgraded to two separate books and then it was an online thing and then they made these magazines. So I think they finally settled on these magazines. But this is just the February 2019 magazine. The front page I can't show you because it does have the download link for the patterns to get the digital ones if you don't want to look at the book. But it's got a really pretty picture here. These are the knit crate yarns for this month, including the artisan crate and all that. Very pretty. Alright, this I guess is where they pulled the color from, the inspiration photos. Which is cool. I like how they do that. And then let's start with the patterns. The knit pattern looks like it's uh, Belita by Curry Fitzgerald, I think is that. It's the knit pattern. It's really pretty. And it's got, of course, it's got the pattern written out. It's also got the graph in there. If you're a graph person. <laughs> Jesse's back there. The crochet pattern is called Bell Skew by Jen Hayes Creations. I really like this. This kind of reminds me of something Hannah from the Cozy Cottage Crochet would design. It almost reminds me of her Treasure Island shawl pattern. So I'm not actually make this. This is really pretty. And this would be pretty in that green color. Let's see here. So it's got it all written out. And it's got stuff about the designers. And then this is, I think, the sock yarn this month. Which is also really pretty. I've seen someone have this. I can't remember who, but I've seen someone with it in a video. And this one does have a sock pattern featured in it. It's knit, obviously. <laughs> And it's called Striped Lightning by, I'm thinking it's Meave or Mauve Vanna Designs. I'm not good at pronouncing stuff, but it is a really cool sock pattern. If I could make socks, I would want to make these. I like the texture and design and stuff. Very cool. And there's the name, because I can't pronounce anything. 
But yeah, so that's all written out in there. To let's pass that up, and it's also got a uh, chart in there for the design, and it's got information about it. And then on the back of the book, as they always do, is like a sneak peek of next month's colorways. This is the pictures that they take inspiration from, and the theme is going to be whisper. Now, if you're one of the people who are worried about getting a yarn that you don't like or that you might be allergic to, like this has alpaca in it, and you want to know ahead of time, there are two different ways that you can know ahead of time before you get billed for it. And one is to be subscribed to the Knit Crate emails. They do send an email out a couple weeks before uh, you actually get the money taken out of your account um, with a link in it to get a sneak peek. But also, if you're an Instagram person, you can follow them on Instagram and make sure you have their notifications turned on. Because usually around the 20th through the 22nd-ish of the, each month, they do a sneak peek for the next month. So you don't get billed until the first of the month. So um, if you watch that video, and in that video they show you all the yarns and all the patterns that's already made up um, on a video on Instagram. The only thing bad about that is it's only available for 24 hours. So if you miss it in that time period, it'll be gone. So that's why if you're if you want to do it that way, you need to be uh, following them on Instagram and have the notifications turned on to where when they go live, it'll pop up and tell you on your phone or your tablet or whatever. And uh, that's actually what I do every month, just so I can get like a sneak peek of what's coming up. And uh, also the emails are useful too. But both of those are ways to look and see what's coming before they take the money out of your account. So that if you don't like that particular yarn or whatever, or if you are allergic to alpaca or whatever, you can skip that next month. And um, without being having to pay for something you can't use or you'll just have to gift to somebody or whatever. Everybody, I think, already knows what Knit Crate is. It's a subscription service, um, a month and a month basis. Of you, This is like the basic pack right here. This is the regular Knit Crate. And it always comes with two hanks of Knit Crate wool. It could either be DK, sometimes it's fingerin, and sometimes it's worsted. And every now and then, like once a year, it's bulky. Uh, and then it comes with at least two patterns, one knit, one crochet, but most of the time there's more than one knit pattern. There's extra ones in here. And uh, every now and then they send something extra. Uh, I know they did it once last year, but it's just because of the whole shipping fiasco. <laughs> but uh, And then there are other crates. I know there's Artisan Crate and Artisan Sock Crate, but I think they're changing that up. I read an email recently. And then they're also doing something with Malabrigo. But again, I don't know. I kind of lost interest in Knit Crate the last few months when all this drama was going on. But now that it's straightened out, I'll re-educate myself on all of their goings-ons. But yeah, so if you are interested in Knit Crate, I have a link below that you, takes you right to the store where you can buy stuff. If you do buy anything through that link from like 180 days of clicking on it, I do get a very tiny kickback. It's like 2% of your order. It's literally pennies. And um, also, if you're buying your first knit crate, you can use my coupon code, which is no catchy name 20 and it'll give you 20% off your very first knit crate order. So yeah, I guess that's about everything <laughs> about February's knit crate. And yeah, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you think someone else will like it, share it and subscribe if you're not. I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.